The Nagaland Statewide Area Network Project under the National E-Governance Plan aims to act as a backbone network for data, voice and video communications throughout the state. It is a vehicle for effective implementation of electronic governance across the state. The statewide network primarily consists of the 48 points of presence covering one state headquarters, Kohima, 10 district headquarters and 37 administrative headquarters. The Nagaland Statewide Area Network is now operational and is providing internet connectivity throughout the state. Swan Third Party Audit has successfully conducted technical audit activities in various points of presence as per service level agreement. The department has also initiated steps to provide horizontal connectivity to various government offices at the district level so that the build-up infrastructures are utilized optimally. Hello, I'm Sarah Rikse, Secretary of the Nagaland Public Service Commission. Previously, the Commission used to conduct examination through manual process. Citizens have to travel long distance even from remote villages to collect forms from the office. Fee payment also used to be done in cash or demand draft for which candidates have to travel to the banks. After the online process was introduced, NPAC online forms are available in the Nagaland State Portal. And applicants can access the form directly online from anywhere at any time. With the introduction of online payment, Candidates need not go to banks to prepare demand draft. Now they can make payment through internet banking or debit and credit cards. They can also visit the nearest common service centers to avail the service. The Commission would like to thank the Government of India, the Government of Nagaland, and particularly the Department of Information Technology and Communications for improving the public service delivery system through the use of this e-governance initiative. Um, my name is Tajasuko and I'm running this Common Service Center in Zibza, Koima District. After Common Service Centers, CSCs were introduced under National E-Governance Plan. It has helped village-level entrepreneurs like me become self-employed. Citizens from this area are able to come to the CSC to avail various online services like NPSC online forms. Because of this, public also save a lot of time and money as they don't have to go to Kohima anymore. Other government services like pen card, passport, other printing, rail ticketing and others. Also, these TV recharges are done here. I am uh, Renjamo Pikigon. I am the nodal officer of uh, the CCTNS project which has been implemented in the state of Nagaland. Uh, this is pertaining to the police department. Uh, CCTNS, as we understand, is a crime and criminal tracking network system which is being implemented in the state of Nagaland. This is mission mode uh, project under the Ministry of uh, Home Affairs. As of now, there are uh, 32 police stations which are being provided with all the necessary uh, hardware as well as connectivity. Now, what CCTNS aims at is basic automation of the two core activities in a particular in a, in a, any police station. That is uh, GD entry as well as uh, registration of the FIRs. Once the crime and criminal uh, tracking networking system is firmly put in place uh, in the state of Nagaland, a lot of benefits will be accrued, not only for uh, the police department, but uh, even for the public at large. I'm Asano Sekose, German Nagaland Board of School Education. Earlier, for verification of the documents issued by the board, the students, they have to come to the office and fill up the forms and other departments also they have to send the letters to us for the verification. But then with the introduction of the national e-governance plan, the process was converted into online automated process. And now they can uh, go to the state portal and get the verification done easily. This is very helpful for those students going outside the state for job or studies and even within the state, now they can go to the state portal and get it done easily. On behalf of Nagaland Board of School Education, I would like to thank the Government of India, Government of Nagaland and Department of Information Technology and Communications for the Services and e-governance initiatives.